Bound have also re released or revealed an up and coming Ada Samba collection that they have that it was been rumored that they were going to do for a while, but we never really got any details about what they were going to look like. And I have to admit, they look really beautiful. I know the design is fairly, you know, uh, there's nothing kind of crazy about them. Maybe people were expecting something a little bit more special and out there. But I think considering Jown's aesthetic, considering they're always a little bit more minimal in terms of how they approach their sneaker collaboration, just everything they do in general. And considering that Justin Saunders is also a stickler, is also a huge fan of the Samba anyway. And I remember when I used to read um, Jown, where they used to have the mood board blog and when we used to be on flipping Blogspot, that's how long ago I used to read it. And I remember actually around that time, I had a couple of pictures featured on flipping down so big up justin saunders he found some of my pictures on my own tumblr and features them on there but he's always been a fan of the samba you'd always see the samba kind of like you know, sp you know um, little around his mood board um blog back in the day on jound um dot com and um the mo the kind of colorway you'd always see, will see featured would always be the classic black and white always be the classic black and white so i know a lot of people out there are upset that it's not more out there but i personally still like them in my opinion, I also like them because they kind of remind me a little bit of a Bussinets. I think that's what you call them. It's an Adidas Bussinets SB with the kind of, it's got the football flap at the front, right? And I'm sure they're probably influenced by Sambas also. And I used to have a couple of pair of those. I used to skate in them as well, but they were incredibly hard to skate in because for me, the, the front of the toe was really pointy. And my toes are fat, so my feet will be squeezing at the front. But if I try to get a longer or a bigger size, my heel will slip out of the back. So I kind of had issues with that. Um, but I did enjoy the fact that for some reason on those Wilson Yets, they'd always have a gum sole. And I love the little um, bleed or the little kind of see-through you'd see happening with the stripes on the side running into the flipping gum sole. I love that. And I had that in a couple of my Wilson Yets that I have. So I love that he's kind of adopted and added that sort of feature. But then I also love just the materialing choice of it. Like, fair enough, it's kind of basic in the design, but the material choice is buff first you've got this sort of like brown brush suede um or brush new buckle suede upper uh, in the first pair and it's sort of a little bit more if maybe the first one i, I say it's, it's i guess a bit more tonal you maybe say with like different kind of hues of brown and with this brush suede and you've got maybe a different type of suede on the stripes here on the side maybe this is a new buck i'm not really too sure and then with the gums out gums gum outsole which looks fucking crazy good but i think the finish on the black is really special Personally, the feeling on the back is special because this sort of heel tab here on the black and white pair with the jound written on the back of the heel tab and you've got this brown lining that kind of looks gold. It kind of reminds you of a pair of loafers. It kind of reminds you of a pair of... um. I forgot what they're called, like shoe holder things. That are like, sometimes you get them and you put them in like wooden, you know, your kind of like uh, hard sole shoes. It's like a gold or metal bit they use to kind of to keep the shoes form. They kind of remind me of that. They also kind of remind me a little bit weirdly of like Margella army sneakers. That sort of like just this section here at the back of the hill tab that kind of gives me all those sort of like memories and sort of like, you know, flashbacks of the shoes I've sort of worn over the years and whatnot. Maybe that was an inspiration. I'm not really too sure. But overall, I think it's a really great model. And also, I think because of the Samba's prevalence now and everyone wearing them, I still think that you would instantly know that this is a jound colorway because you can't find this mock-up. Again, it's quite basic, I know, but you won't be able to find a Samba on the market now like this with a gum sole, with this suede all over on the upper, uh, with the white you know, heel tab, white straps on the side and black laces and the black sort of tongue it'd be like a switch it'd be like a white tongue a blue thing so even though this is a basic mock-up and a basic colorway execution i think the the genius is in how basic it is and how minimal it is because you can't find this colorway anywhere else which is why they kind of you know got him involved why he decided to choose it and obviously the hit at the back the little hit at the back with the gold on the flipping hill tab i think is a fucking special so i'm definitely a fan of these i would wear these instantly um maybe it looks like with this jacket picture here there might be some clothing involved in it also but i feel like this looks absolutely gorgeous it looks absolutely great um it looks like it's a little bit of a the only issue i have this is like it looks like it's just um printed at the back which may be okay because i know some people like what wearing shoes with the printed logo on the back of the hill tab because over time it's all like rubs out with natural wear as opposed to maybe having it kind of 
um, embroidered, which I would probably prefer way more because you still get a lot of that kind of wear and tear would come around on the edges of the letters. But sometimes having the letters vinyl kind of peel off over time can add a different sort of element to the shoe over time as you're wearing them. But to me, they look gorgeous. The le the leather the leather finishing on it looks subtle, supple as fuck. So they're gonna be super soft and buttery. Um, I wouldn't you don't you know what D don't be surprised if these are really expensive. Also, I'm just thinking about it now. They might be you know they might just be like incredibly incredibly high quality levers on the upper. So they kind of look basic, but the actual leather that they use might be some insane. Um, you know, I don't know, calf skin, pig skin, something like that that they're using because, you know, I don't think making a shoe with a leather insole, I just checked it here. So it's leather on the upper and also a, a leather leather lining. That's not cheap. You know what I mean? It's going to cost an arm and a leg. So, and if you have, add on top of that, like a leather insole, it's going to be a lot of money. So don't be surprised if these are really, really expensive. But I do like them, you know, the short and tongue and shit. And the colorway itself looks beautiful, especially the brown one. I think the brown one's actually a bit of a sleeper, to be fair. That nutmeg, that, that kind of camel suede brown color is fucking gorgeous. So can't wait for them to come out. No, no dates on it so far. I've, I've heard 2024, having browsed around on the internet for the Jound Ada Samba. So 2024 is obviously next year. So it's a long wait. Got a lot of times to fucking jack off the pictures before you actually get a pair. But still, I think they're beautiful nonetheless. I think they're beautiful nonetheless. 